Hey guys, so today I have a review for you on e.l.f. Cosmetics, which I got the whole entire brush set, which was on sale for, I believe it was $37, and I think it's $70 originally. Um, so this is what it looks like. Some of these are my brushes, um, but most of them are the e.l.f. brushes, and it's the back of it. And you can see it kind of has a little print to it on the front and the back. And I don't know how many pockets it has in it. I didn't count. I wasn't that concerned with it. <laughs> um, but it does have a lot. Um, smaller and some are bigger. Um, and if you have brushes that don't fit or you want to throw a palette in there, uh, they have huge like pockets. I don't know if you can kind of see that because everything is black. Um, but they're big pockets. So like my brush here, the Eco Tools one, is huge. It's so thick. It won't fit in here. But because there's uh, two big pockets on each side, um, I can fit it in there and it works perfectly. So you can fit like even like your naked palette in one of these and that would work. Or um, like a small MAC palette, the four ones, the quads. Um, and it comes with a belt you can adjust it to whatever you would like. Uh, it's very nice. So pros and cons on this is this thing smells like terrible. <laughs> it's such a bad smell. And everyone who walks in my room now is like, wow, what is that smell? Like, what did you buy in here? You know, buy that. You know, it just smells like really when you get a new car, it smells like that. Like, I don't know what they use on this, but, like, it's terrible. So, uh, <laughs> uh, to Elf Cosmetics, uh, maybe make a good smelling bag. That'd be nice. All the brushes, too. Even my old brushes that I put in here now smell like it. Which, you know, I mean, if you're working on a client, you don't want them to be like, Ew, why does your, <laughs> where is your brush bed? You know, but it is a great value, um, even though it does stink terribly. Uh, it really is a great value for what I got it for, and I got it on sale because I had a coupon. So this is like the bag it comes in. It comes in a box, but this is the bag it comes in. And as you can see, it looks like tons of goodies, like Christmas. <laughs> um, so these are just all the plastic wrappings. Like they send them to you in their original thing. And I believe it was 29 brushes I got. And I'm going to show you the brushes that came in the kit. So you guys can see that. Um, so this is an angled eyeliner brush. And let me do this. So it's like any other angled eyeliner brush. I really don't use this that much. I mean, if you're using like gel eyeliner, that's when I would use it. Um, next brush, which is my favorite and which everyone seems to have high reviews of, is the um, powder brush. And excuse, it, it already has tons of makeup on it. I haven't washed it off yet. But you can see that it's so flat and compacted. Like, it's so tight. Like, it doesn't, there's some of them that just are, like, flimsy, and this is really tight and compacted, and I think it's great. My favorite. So, like, if you have powder, I even use it with liquid. Like, I put on my, um, my, uh, what is it called? Oh, my gosh, what is it? My HD Forever Foundation with it, and it was great. It worked fine. So, um, multiple uses there. Uh, they give you, they call it a mini stipple brush, um, which looks like this. And I didn't really like this one compared to the stipple brush I already own, which is not in here. It's back in my room. But it's not, like I just told you about the other one, how it's, it's really hard when you push down on it. This one is just kind of like, oh, it's like, oh, okay. You know, like, that one goes down. The other one would stay flat. It's still a great brush, but, eh, it's okay. I'd rather use mine. 
Um, the next one I have here is the angled blush brush, which I I liked it. I think it's fine. And um, that's what it looks like. They're all nice materials. Like it just smells terrible. <laughs> Okay, the next one I have here is Flawless Concealer Brush, which that's nice too, even for like when you put, you set your powder, so this is a really nice brush too. Um, okay, all these little tiny brushes, I hate, I barely ever use them, but, so, I kind of put all mine in one little pocket, so I wouldn't take up too much room. But so this one here is a flat eyeliner brush. So you can see it's flat perfectly. And that's nice. Um, the next one is eyeshadow C brush. C. C. Like that. And all these like you would use, you know, for your eyeshadow eyeshadow <laughs> probably um this one is a con uh, contour brush i don't know how you would contour with this but yeah i don't know i i usually use a bigger brush like that uh angled brush that's what i use contour um, and the last small one that's here is a concealer brush. So this would be nice to just dab like that. And then you can take that other brush and set it with a powder. And then you're set to go. <laughs> the next one is a small tapered brush, which I love. I think it's nice for powders, too, when you're putting powders on your cheeks. Or even if, like... You have a really pigmented blush to just pat it on nicely. Um, a mineral powder. Yeah, mineral, mineral powder. Okay. What's that? Bare mineral. <laughs> um, let's see here. These are my brushes. An angled contour brush. This I love. This one is, again, really compacted. And you can see, like, when I put it on me. It's very nice. Yeah, I like that. This is the stuff I usually use in my crease for browns, like, to get it really dark. Um, okay, let's see here. A complexion brush which is nice again. I would use this to pat on powder again. That's my, my doing. Um, forgive me if I skip any brushes because they're all mixed in here with my own now. So, uh, An angled foundation brush. This is nice. I would use, I would definitely recommend this for if you have the HD um, Forever foundation because this is just great easy to put and you can get angles like if you have just a flat one you can't really get into the angles that much like you can get right into the nose it's very nice love it um let's see here this is my own brush okay. I think those are all mine there's very tiny brushes, but I'm not going to show them to you because they're so tiny. And they're just for little perfections in your eye makeup. So I'm not even going to bother pulling those out. Um, a fan brush. That's what I was missing. This thing sucks. I do not like their fan brush whatsoever. It's so wimpy. Like online, I was like, oh, that looks really thick. No. Like, look at this just nothing so very wimpy I mean it still would probably work nice to just get some of the makeup off or again for a really pigmented blush but it's very like I feel like there's no brush really to it like, I don't know if you can tell 
skirt. Yeah. I cannot. Yeah. There's just nothing there. Not my fave. So I do not like that. Um, the other thing that's in here is a brow comb. And it looks just like that. Which is nice. Nothing amazing, but it's nice. Um, I think I took it out. Yep. Took it out. It's so bad at me. Why would I take that out of here? They have, um, which is really cool too, and probably the most important thing that I should have showed you, but it's, it's not with me right now. Um, but what it is, is, uh, for your lips, your lip brush. And I couldn't figure it out at first because it's a retractable one. But what you do is you take the cap off, stick it on the other end, and then it pops out your brush. So it's, I thought that was really cute and a good way to, you know, keep things from being messy and keeps the dust out. I hate that when my brushes get dust on them because you really, I mean, you can't, unless you're a makeup artist, you're not going through these brushes every day. It's kind of really hard to do. Um... So this is my collection. So it's just like a small review on it. And yeah. It's really nice. I would recommend it. I think it's great. Um, even like girls who are obsessed with makeup and just, you know, maybe they're starting out and they're like, oh my gosh, you know, I want all these brushes to, you know, just do whatever they want to do and play with it and figure it out. Um, for $37, how can you beat that for, like, a Christmas gift, you know? So, uh, that's e.l.f. Cosmetics, and like I said, they have coupons all throughout Christmas time. I keep seeing them change it. Mine was 50% off, um, and you get free shipping, so you don't have much to lose with it. But, yeah, so that's it. All right, you guys, I hope you have a great holiday. And you enjoyed this review. If you guys have any questions on this product, just shoot me a message and I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. And thank you so much for watching. And again, happy holidays. Bye.